Let's take a quick look at how things are stacking up in the playoff race because it's banana pancakes and it's going to be all the way down to the wire. And that's what we're digging that this, this season, but so we're going to go in, we're going to go into more depth on the Tuesday morning show. Just, just a quick look right now. So how things look going into Thursday. So there are, depending on your team, nine or 10 games left. The Orioles went up on the race two and a half games in the AL East. Their magic number fell to eight. The Twins are up on Cleveland's baseball club by nine games in the AL Central. Their magic number is now one, and you know it's almost 9.15 p.m. Eastern time the on Thursday. Astros are up on the Rangers and the Mariners only by a half a game. Still the most exciting situation in baseball right now. Brad so is probably fear, losing his mind. <laughs> <laughs> the Mariners are off today. And so I was like, okay, I have like 36 hours to breathe. Yeah. Right. And then it's like paper bag the rest of the way, because today was the Mariners last off day of the regular season. They don't have any more off days. No more off days. It's three, six, or it's a th- series of, it's a three game series, three game series and a four game series to end the season against the Rangers. And they and play the, the Rangers and Astros is all. They play Rangers in Arlington, <laughs> Houston, I think, in Seattle, and then yeah. the Rangers again in Seattle. Yeah. Oh, well, my gosh, Brig. Let's hope this helps. And I'm going to hoist yes! the Trident <laughs> the whole way. Yes. yes. Let's hope Brig. that helps. Yes. It, it better. <laughs> it's going to. Baseball fan, for to. those of you listening and not watching, um, Briggs sent me something. It got to my house yesterday or t- Tuesday, Tuesday, and it's been sitting in the corner of my room in a package. Um, I was not allowed to touch it or open it, and my wife just brought it in. It is a trident, and I will vi- hoist it victoriously for every single Mariners home run the rest of the way. And I'm really hoping that this thing like is the mojo that sends them yeah. to the playoffs. I'm going to put it right here in the background. Let's see if there it stands go. up right there. Okay. Hope I it just doesn't figured, fall. like, if you were going to be holding the position, you might as well be holding the trident. That's right. Yeah, I'll be, I will be holding the position the rest of the season with the trident ready to be hoisted. <laughs> Tell them about the trident, Brad. Why? <laughs> Some people. So everybody, don't everybody has their home run celebration these days, right? It all started. Actually, I believe the team that started the whole thing was the University of Miami football team with the turnover chain. Right. Or right? that was and, it the pie in the face all the way back. Well, there's the pie in the face after the game, right? That they did forever. But I think, yeah. but in game celebrations, you know, as far That's as right. like a prop, I yeah, think prop. got to be, you know, started with Miami and the turnover chain. But then it came to baseball. Um, I know the Blue Jays had the jacket, right? Yep. And yeah. actually, San Diego, they had the home run chain as well, which has gotten to be a really big thing in the home run derby chain and all that. Yep. And the Mariners' home run celebration starting this year, you actually. This even goes back even farther, Brig, because they have what's called the Swellment, which is a Darth Vader helmet that yeah. somebody had painted to be Mariners colors, and they would put that on after a sweep. So <laughs> earlier this season, they dug the Swellment out of the closet, and then they would have this new Trident, and they would put on the Swellment with the Trident, but now they just do the Trident, and I'm yeah. very excited, Brig. Thank it's you. It's awesome, man. <laughs> it's outstanding. So happy. <laughs> so cool. All right, the Brewers are up on the Cubs by seven games in the NL Central. Their magic number is four. The Braves have clinched the NL East. Dodgers have clinched the NL West. The wild card. In the American League, the Rays sit at the top by eight and a half games. In the event that the Rays surpass the Orioles, that name will simply swap. That's the only thing that will change. The Orioles right. will then be the number one seed wild card. But as it stands, the Rays sit atop that. By eight and a half games. Next in line is the Blue Jays. They're a game above the zero mark held by a tie between the Rangers and the Mariners. Could you imagine being in the Rays and sitting eight games up on the next best wild card team and having to play in that wild card series instead of getting a bye? No. Win the uh, division, friends. Yeah, win your division. That's, that's what you have to do. You got to win the division. Yep. So, Brad, why don't you tell us about this? Because this is your guy, and he is awesome. Okay, let's bring in the uh, bring in the Trident first. Okay, <laughs> so with Trident in hand, Julio Rodriguez is only the third player ever 
age 22 or younger with 30 home runs, 30 stolen bases, and 100 RBIs in a season. Third ever. The other two, Ronald Acuna Jr. did it in 2019, and believe it or not, A-Rod did it with the Mariners yep. in 1998. Put that in your trident and skewer it. How about that? So it's amazing, pretty crazy. Yeah, I was actually watching that game yesterday, and that ball kind of snuck over uh, the right field wall. The, I, re, I read an article today that called it a, a blast. I was like, that was not a blast. That ball snuck over the wall. Yeah. Aaron Goldschmidt said it, it, it disappeared. It disappeared over the wall. <laughs> That's there exactly you go. <laughs> That's it was exactly pretty, what happened. Pretty sneaky. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty sneaky. I didn't. I wasn't sure if it was going to go, but because it was like the higher part of the wall in right field, you know. Yeah, uh, in yeah. Oakland. But anyway, but it's interesting, though, following this wild card race, because this is really it. The Yankees are eight games back. They haven't officially been eliminated yet, and they're keeping their hopes alive tonight by hopefully beating the Blue Jays. Yeah, I we hope they beat the Blue Jays. Fan. Yeah. Yeah. I hope so they beat the, the Blue Jays for a bunch of reasons. I want well, I'm sure you to beat the Blue Jays, but I, I want the Mariners in the wild card spot for sure. Yeah, because one of those four teams, I mean, the Rays are obviously going to be in because they've already clinched, but then it's the Blue Jays, Mariners, and Rangers. One of those teams is going to be out, which is crazy because they're only separated by potentially half a game after tonight. But I would just die if the Mariners overtook the Rangers and the Astros and won the division. Like, and I'm not even a Mariners fan all the way, right? Like, I would just die. I can't imagine how you would be feeling. I probably would. You probably actually like I die. said, like I said, Brig, I'm gonna have a paper bag firmly in hand and the trident in the other this entire week. Just... <laughs> Me too. I'll do it with you. That'd be great. Excellent. All right, the National League wild card situation. The Phillies stand atop the wild card race by four games. The D backs have kind of put themselves in a great spot. They're up a game and a uh, yeah, a game and a half. The Cubs are at the zero line. So that would be the three teams if the playoffs ended today that would be in the wild card. But the Marlins are only behind by a half a game. The Reds are back one game, Giants three games back. Now look at this. It's for, okay, so that's nuts anyway, right? Like it is. And the thing nuts. that's crazy is I'm actually a little bit surprised the the Cubs are still there. Because they kind of had somewhat of a free fall, free fall this week. They did, and it was not good because they've they've almost completely fallen out of the division race this last. Yeah, week. remember when the I Brewers said were? I thought they'd catch the Brewers. I yeah, we wrong. both did. Yeah. <laughs> well, we were. I mean, who would have thought that a team who was pretty level all season would just be like, nope? And then the Brewers right. just kept winning. They so now they're like thing. seven games back with ten to go. So it's yeah, no. it's pretty much over there. So look at this. The Padres are still only four and a half games back. That makes no sense. First it's of all. crazy. Let that settle in. Because, because how many of us have given up on gave up on their season in like late July, right? Right. <laughs> Probably late <laughs> like, July. It was like, done. Yeah. It was over. Yeah, yeah. Well, now the way Juan Soto looks at the plate, though, things are starting to change, and that's a pretty good signpost of what's what's occurring anyway they've won seven in a row they're eight and two in their last 10 what if (laughs) brad what if they go on a tear the last 10 games of the season and make up the difference all the way and end up in a wild card spot that i might die (laughs) (laughs) i don't think it'll happen i'm not holding my breath but the world might literally explode (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> look out so they are officially 14 and 8 since manny machado was arrested for uh cooler slaughter in the dugout <laughs> no he charges were filed by the way no charges were filed everything was fine but he did murder a cooler in the yeah. dugout and that's the best 22 game stretch they've had all season so you know Maybe there is something to be said for pitching a little bit of a tantrum in the dugout and getting everybody else fired up. Or a feared. You know, whatever. <laughs> Could be. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So to clinch a wild card spot in the American League, the Rays have clinched. The Blue Jays need six to clinch. Rangers and Mariners magic numbers for a clinch in the wild card is seven. In the National League, Phillies magic number is six. D backs eight, Cubs ten. That's how it sits right now. <laughs> 